Hello ladies and gents, in this video I'm going to show you how to print out in 3D a 3D model that you've created using some 3D modeling software. The two most common 3D modeling apps that you'll come across in a classroom are SketchUp, which I have on the screen here, and Tinkercad, which I have open here. Now you can use any 3D modeling software you want. But what's important is that when you've created your 3D model, you download the file as an STL file. So I've created a cube with a cylinder cut out of the center in both of these 3D modeling apps. And now I want to download it. In SketchUp, to do that, in the top left-hand side of the screen, look for the three horizontal lines, click them, and then go to Download STL. Click that, and it will download your STL file to your Downloads folder. So you can see there it is, test3dprint.stl, and if I open my Downloads folder, there it is, it's visible there. You can do the same thing in Tinkercad by going to the right-hand side of the screen and clicking the Export button. And in the window that appears, you'll see for 3D print, click the .stl button, and then that will download to your Downloads folder as well. So if I open my Downloads folder, you can now see I've got the one from SketchUp, and I have the file I downloaded from Tinkercad. Both of them are in STL format. Once you have your STL file ready, go to the Slicer software. And there are lots of different versions of Slicer software. Different versions work with different 3D printers. We're going to use a slicer called Simplify 3D. Now you can see in the Simplify 3D window, we have a large gray area, which is the print plate of our 3D printer, and some light gray lines which show the area that we can print within. If we look to the left-hand side of the screen, we've got the first section here. This is where we'll load our 3D model. We've got an import button for loading in the model, a remove button for deleting the model from the print plate, and an arrange and center button where it automatically places the models for you if you have more than one. Below that, we've got a processes window. This is where you load in the settings for the 3D printer. This should already be configured and set up by your teacher so that when you use the computer with Simplify 3D on it in the classroom, you'll already see processes um, in this area. So you'll see process one type FFF. If you don't see that, don't worry, just go to speak to your teacher and your teacher will sort that out for you and get that working. You don't need to touch this section yourself. So let's bring in a 3D model that we created. So go to the model section and click import. Find your 3D model. So mine is in my downloads folder and I can access all of the areas on my computer here. Go to the downloads folder and I'm going to pick test 3d print.stl and click open and you can see it's dropped onto the print plate if i click on the print plate and hold the left mouse button i can rotate and see my file from different viewpoints if i click and hold the right mouse button i can move the print plate left right up and down and just reposition it on the screen now if i double click on the 3d model you can see that all the different settings for the size and the orientation of the model have appeared at the side of the screen. So I created a 50 by 50 millimeter cube in SketchUp, and you can see that it's retained those measurements in Simplify 3D. So if I wanted to make this, let's say, half the size, I can click on these arrows and reduce it by clicking on the um, size in millimeters, or I can simply change the scale. So if I want this at 50%, and with uniform scaling swi switched on, all of these are linked. So when I press enter, it will resize all of the sides for me. Now if we look towards the far right hand side of the screen, you can see this translate button here, which looks like a cross with arrows coming off it. We can click that, and then we can click on the 3D model, and we can move it around the print plate. But you need to be careful that you don't move your things off the print plate, otherwise they won't print properly. So we'll leave that on the print plate there. And now we've got some room for other 3D models. So we don't have to print everything out one at a time. So I'm going to click on the import button. 
And what I'll do now is I'll import the one from Tinkercad. So I'll click on that and hit open and that drops in. Now you can see that this one in Tinkercad is a different size to the one I created in SketchUp. So if I double click that, we can see this one is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters or two centimeters by two centimeters. So let's bring in one more 3D model. Click import and I'll bring in the five centimeter by five centimeter one again. So I'll click on that one and then hit open and this one drops in. Now we have a problem because one of the 3D models is on top of the other. So what I can do is I can use that translate or move button and I can move this model out of the way to somewhere else on the print plate. There we go. Or if I don't want to arrange these myself, I can simply click arrange and center in the models section of the window on the left hand side of the screen. So if we click that button, it arranges everything for us. So with my 3D models all on the print plate, I'm happy with the layout. We have a process ready to go in the processes window. All I need to do is click prepare to print. Click that button and it will take a second to process the model, but this is what's going to print out. And what we can do just like before is left click on the mouse or trackpad, rotate the 3D model just to make sure that everything looks okay. Because sometimes there can be errors with the 3D model, um, which you might not notice. So just rotate around it, check that there's no strange errors that you need to fix in the 3D modeling software. But if it all looks okay, it's ready to print. So you can see here at the top left-hand side of the screen, we've got build statistics. This is going to take six hours and zero minutes to build. So 3D printing isn't particularly fast. It's going to use quite a bit of filament, but we do get a lot of filament on a roll. It's going to use 19,464.9 millimeters of filament. It's going to weigh 58.52 grams. And the material cost, which I'm going to assume is in dollars, is 2.69. Now, if we look to the bottom of the window, you can see we've got these two sliders. And the max one, the blue line, we can see next to it there's 498. That means that there are 498 total layers in this 3D model. And if I move this slider down, we can see the extruder moving around. That's the little gray section and it's drawing out the layers and how they will print. So that's the base layer. And as we move the slider back to the 498th layer, that's the final layer. And if we move the minimum one here, that will start from the ground up there and it'll just show you how these are printing out. Um, so if everything looks fine, all we need to do now is save this to an SD card. So make sure you've plugged an SD card into your computer and then look for the image of SD cards here and pre press the save tool paths to disk button. So just click that. And it will open up the save G code window. So what you need to do here is make sure that you've selected your SD card. So mine here is called SD card and I can see it's an SD card because it has this little ejectable button next to it. And you need to eject your SD card when you're finished with this process. So I can access all the other areas on my computer here. So I can go to my downloads folder. I could save the file there if I want, but I'm just gonna put it straight onto my SD card. So under locations, find your SD card, give it a name. So you can leave it as it is already or just change that name. So I'll call this 3D print and then hit the save button and it will save to the SD card. Now, if I go to the finder window and in the locations, if I go to my SD card, there we go, you can see there's a file from a previous project and my 3D print.gcode file that I'm going to use with the 3D printer. So if you're happy with that, all you need to do is hit the eject button and eject the SD card. Now it's safe to remove from your computer or your USB-C adapter if you're using one of those. And then I can hit exit preview mode and I'm back in the layout window. Now, if I want to start another project, what I can do is I can import more models or I can remove these so I can use the software again for something else. To do that, just click on the 3D print you want to remove 
and you'll see it'll be highlighted lighter than the others and press the remove button. If you want to remove everything all at once, you can click on one, hold the shift key, click on the one in the bottom of the list so they're both highlighted and hit the remove button and you're back to an empty Simplify 3D window and you're ready to start working on another project. So all you need to do now is take that SD card with your file and go to the 3D printer and print out your file. I'll show you how to do that in another video.